Hey everyone, I finished watching the next episode of Power Rangers RPM, Ranger Red. Scott and Ziggy rescue a woman and her baby from grinders in a park. Ziggy is still trying to get used to being a hero. The rest of the team is dealing with another group of grinders. Dr. K locates a new attack bot. It's traveling underground. Dr. K sends a new crocodile zord, but it malfunctions and crashes into an electric tower. The rangers insist on saving people from the wreckage, but Dr. K orders them to follow the attack bot. Scott thinks back to his military training. He and his brother, Marcus, train with their father, Colonel Truman. In the present, Scott decides to go against her orders and deal with the electric tower. They save the city, but the attack bot escapes. Dr. K looks into what went wrong with the crocodile zord. It requires a specific bit of technology to work. Scott remembers seeing the tech back when he and his brother were trying to stop Vengex. The tech is outside the dome, possibly still on their old equipment that was left behind. Scott asks Colonel Truman, his father, for permission to go out and retrieve it. Truman turns down the plan, but Scott swipes a disc containing coordinates to the location. Later, Dr. K reveals to the team that she let Scott go ahead. We see a few more flashes back to Scott's past. He crashes and is rescued by Summer, passing by on a motorcycle. Back to the present, Scott finds the tech but gets ambushed by grinders and an attack bot. He's outnumbered, but suddenly he's rescued by his father leading a group of soldiers. They make it back inside the dome. Scott tells his father to get the tech to Dr. K. Truman yells that this was reckless. If Marcus were here, Scott interrupts his father. If Marcus was here, he would have done it himself. Colonel Truman nods. He knows his son is right. The attack bot leads grinders into the city as Scott jumps into battle with his team. Together, they fight off the bad guys and secure the dome. Colonel Truman sits down at his desk. He opens an envelope, and inside is a yellowed letter from his son Marcus, recommending Scott to be a squad leader. One of the really cool things with RPM that really make it stand out among other seasons is the way the story unfolds. With each flashback, we can fill in more and more of the puzzle. It's kind of like in Mystic Force's backstory. Mystic Force had a very similar idea, reveal more and more backstory bit by bit. I feel RPM does a better job. Everything is revealed naturally and everything fits together, while Mystic Force's backstory was a bit messier and doesn't really fit together as well. The beginning of this episode is another perfect example of RPM's tone and can be awkward, funny, and action-packed all at once. The baby Scott and Ziggy protect from the grinders is very expressive. I'm curious if the baby grew up to be an actor. I love seeing the flashes of Scott's past, especially his brother Marcus. The mother at the beginning of this episode was played by Makoto Nagino. She previously played the Pink A-Squad Ranger in SPD and did stunt work in many others. She's married to fellow actor and stunt person Koichi Sakamoto. Marcus Truman was played by Felis McGuire. RPM is his only major credit, but he's apparently done some theater work off and on. This episode is Scott's first big episode, so I'll talk about his actor, Eka Darville. He got his start on a surfing reality show, Blue Water High, and from there he went on to Power Rangers, his first major non-reality show role. Eka Darville would return to Power Rangers and Power Rangers Samurai Clash of the Red Rangers, reprising his role as Scott, although... Due to some legal nonsense behind the scenes, he couldn't take his helmet off. How dare you open a spaceman's helmet on an uncharted planet? He's credited as Tobias Reese, and there was some controversy for a few years on whether or not it was actually him. His most recent role was in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, where he played the gorilla Silva. Once again, great episode. It's so nice to have a season with consistent quality. I don't think I've enjoyed any other Disney season as consistently as RPM. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya. I'll throw a stroller at you with a baby in it.